What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. Up early, 11 a.m. Um, I decided to go live early today so I could show y'all what is inside of my new Easter Parade Junk Journal Kit. I just put this in the shop, I believe, yesterday. And I'm getting around now to making the flip-through video of the kit itself. Um, thank you guys so, so much for joining me. I want to show it off. It has 29 pages. It has, I believe, 13 journal pages, and then the rest are uh, 14 um, ephemeral pages, <laughs> so let me show you. Angela, hi, Angela, welcome, welcome. Um, so again, this kit is very um, different for me because it is not vintage. So this has a very modern you know, very scrapbooky feel to the pages, not vintage on this one. Some people like vintage and some people don't. So for this one, I decided to go a little bit more modern, a little bit more current with uh, the really cute um, watercolors. There's, um, of course, uh, Easter things everywhere, eggs and bunnies and <clears throat> little chicks and everything. It's all in this kit. You get a nice amount. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Laura Lean. How are you? You get a lot of uh, journaling pages as well as a lot of line pages. This is some really cute frames here, so you can use them as writing spaces. And then this is where it starts with the pattern paper. You get two different patterns, uh, one, uh, two different patterns on a page. So one on each side. It's perfect for when you fold it in a signature, and that way it doesn't look like, you know, it's just one, one page. So there's different pages. And then you also get the lined version. So if you want some lined paper, you can add those there too. Um, this wonderful little blue with these bunnies and these little chicks. It's so adorable. I really loved working with this clip art set. I thought they were really, really cute. Here's the green page with the little bunnies, little chicks, and the little eggs over here you can hunt for. Again, the lined version of it. How is everybody? Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning here. I'll try and do a couple lives during the day. I know I always go live at night. I could try and do a couple during the day. We'll see how I feel. Usually during the day is when I do my computer work, my design work, you know. But I could try here and there, go live during the day. Okay, so here is the ephemera, <clears throat> the ephemera pages. Uh, I believe there's 14 pages, if I'm not wrong. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Let me check before I, I, okay, sorry. There's 13 journal pages, 16 ephemera pages. That's why I was like, my math is not adding up. So you get this uh, cute page of a pocket over here and then three little postcards. I also tried to include some like, uh, what are they called? They're called farmhouse signs. They're like farmhouse uh, details. And I decided to include those really, really cute. These are a little bit vintage looking. They're modern, but they're vintage looking little uh, journal cards and stuff. They're little labels. Um, hang on. Hang on. I didn't put this in order. That's what happened. I was going to show you the journal cards after. Hang on. There it is. Okay. Continue on, continuing on with the ephemera kit, uh, we have this page here with uh, six journal cards and three tags and i think the tags came up super cute it says easter wishes bunny and kisses how cute is that the little bunnies cottontails candy shop sweets for every bunny let the hunt begin and then this really sweet hands with the eggs love this um clip art set with the little bunny ears it was really really cute Cutest little chick down here. How cute is that? This, everything about this is, I can't, I, I can't stop saying cute. Okay. It's very cute. <laughs> Here's this little envelope. It's a mini envelope with uh, tiny little eggs on it. This little bunny over here, which is adorable. It says Easter bunny stop here. Don't worry. Be happy. Happy Easter. Cottontail farms. And then you get two corner tuck spots right there with the cute little um, pattern. Okay, this page, Sherry, thank you so much. This page has some awesome um, journal cards, and I print these out on cardstock myself. I like my journal cards on cardstock, so I printed these out too on cardstock. Have a blessed Easter, bunny kisses 25 cents, and then this cute little bunny right here, and that cute little bunny, everything's so cute, I can't. You get this little set of tickets over here on the side, very pastel. 
this journal kit is definitely very, very pastel heavy. <laughs> very, very pastel. And uh, here's another page with another uh, mini envelope. Peter Cottontail's Candy Co. You get this sweet little envelope here with the little bunnies and little carrot um, details. Those buds are adorable. Aren't they cute? And then I um, took inspiration from other people's. Like, they'll have this for, like, a T-shirt. I don't need it for a T-shirt. So I just kind of took the inspiration of the phrase and made it my own here with the, with the typography. Um, Chocolate Bunny Candy Co., Bunny Trail Cafe, Little Chick Spring Market, Easter Egg Hunt, Peter Cotton Egg Farm, Easter Egg Farm, Finest Quality Eggs, Wild Rabbit Farms Open Daily, and over here it says Cotton Patch Open Daily, Cotton Tail Candy 15 cents. And so these are kind of, you know, they're a little bit, they're vintage inspired, but they're, they're modern. They look really cute. You get uh, two pages of clip art. So over here you get the clip art with the eggs. You get the clip art of all the little characters. So you can cut them out yourself and you know use them in tuck spots and stuff. Um, they're gonna they're really cute. And I made sure that the outline was nice and black so that way you can use it with your scan and cut if you are a scan and cut user. It'll cut out like butter. Here is a page of journaling, like little journaling spots that you can cut out and um, use them as like little journaling spots. What else is there to say? <laughs> they make the cutest little journaling spots. Okay, now we go on to the ephemera set. Now, everything is all in one link, so the, there isn't different uh, kits to this. It's just one set, one link, one listing that you have to purchase. Here is the um, big journaling cards. And again, I usually like to use this as a page in my journal, or I'll print two pages on one, and so then I'll get four of these cards. And, so I like the option of making them big, and then I can print them two pages. I don't want to make them small. So there's that one. There's this page here that says April Fresh and Extra Special. Really, really cute with the, with the little patterns there. I'm working on a Jane Austen kit. I just started working on it yesterday. I've already got all these journal pages done. <laughs> it's been going pretty well. I'm really excited about the Jane Austen kit, too. Um, and then here is the pages, uh, these cards here, Sweet Escape, You Make My Heart Hop. Again, they're really big. I like to use them as journal pages or print them two pages on one, and then they're like the perfect little mini mini uh, journal cards. You get a page of these uh, journal cards here with the characters, this uh, little Easter greeting image here, just really cute. All the little characters are so cute that I use. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. I was a little scared because I normally do vintage, you know, so my style is vintage. And this time, uh, who name is Tattered Treasures? Hi, I'm Beverly Spell. Hello. Um, I usually do vintage. And so this one is kind of not vintage, but then I also add in the vintage, you know, the vintage papers that I'm using for these journal cards. Um, again, the sign, the, the, what are they called? They're called farmhouse signs. They're vintage inspired. Farm Fresh Carrots, only 25 cents. Easter Egg Hunt, right ahead. So normally these would be used for signs, like big sign for your, your living room or something, you know? Um, but I decided that no, they're going to be for my journal kit. <laughs> Here is another one of the journal card pages. Really, really cute. This pattern with these little bunnies and their little faces really got to me. And I use them all over the place. They're so cute. Here are some other journal card, line journal cards. And then here is the last one, Easter egg hunt right away. You are some bunny special. Look how cute that little bunny is. It's adorable. So that is the whole kit, you guys. I'm so excited to um, have this in my store. Like I said, it's a little bit more modern than what I'm used to designing. But I think that uh, for the theme, I think it's really, really cute. I still try to put some vintage elements here and there. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. Again, the kit is 29 pages. It's over in my store. It's one listing. So I'm starting to put all my junk journal kits as one listing. They're not separated. So all you have to do is buy one, uh, buy it one time and you get everything in the, in the kit. So you guys, I am so excited for this to be in my store. I thank you guys so, so much for um, sharing the excitement with me and checking it out in my shop. I am working on a Jane Austen kit next, so look forward to that. 
And uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for your support. I will be back tomorrow, tonight, not tomorrow night, tonight. <laughs> we'll be doing something junk journal related. So make sure to check me out at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will try and uh, here and there go live during the day. I know I don't, but I should and I will. <laughs> so thank you guys so, so much. I will be back to, uh, tonight. So come and hang out with me at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, and 12 a.m. Is that right? No, it's 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m. Central Standard, Eastern Standard. <laughs> okay, you guys, it's too early for me. I will see y'all tonight. Have fun. Have a good day. And thank you guys so much for your support. Bye.